Hi, this is Graham Jacock. Now, why are classical musicians and a, I'm being I'm focusing on pianists here. Why are they bullying me? Because I've sight read for over 10 years now and not one classical musician has publicly acknowledged my contribution. Now, that is bullying. And if we are living in 2021, why are adults in the classical music industry bullying another person? Because isn't the purpose of music to get people together? And so we have more music to share. Now, the argument that people will use is, oh, it's not good enough. But I'll come back with the ABRSM because they are the standard. The Royal Associated Board of Music. There may be other boards, but this is one of the best. And their examination reveal that sight reading has a standard and it's not a particular high standard. And that is why musicians do not want to see me being recognised. You are bullying me. Why are you bullying me? You know, my channel, right? I get to a... Uh, see the, statistic, the statistics on who visited and how long they spent on a video, right? And the YouTube creators have given help to people like me. They tell you, you have to get your watch rate, up, the watch time up, okay? If somebody spends only 20 seconds, you're not going to get a, a big audience. It's restricting you. And the click on rate or click through rate, people refuse to click on thumbnails. But this is where the, the world of musicians, right, and the public are split into two categories. One knows what sight reading is, two, those who do not know what sight reading is. And here is where comments come in. They say, you know, you should stop recording music that you can't play properly, right? And by so doing this, other viewers who are none the wiser to what sight reading is, re rejects my contribution. They don't want to look at it. But I can hold the musicians to account because that is why we have the law to stop oppression. Now, I remember the British pianist. It's very strange. The British music scene. Oh, we're all for music. We're all for supporting. Well, <laughs> Let's remind uh, the British public uh, who Emma Raducanu is. She's British. And do you know, before she proved herself, she could play against the professionals. The British Tennis Association, they supported her. They had faith in her. And all the coaches and all the tennis players like Andy Murray, Tin Henman, and, uh, you know, they, they believed in her before she even could demonstrate it as a 18-year-old. We're talking about a 12-year-old demonstrating. And this is why 
the tennis association in Britain supported her. Now, it's very strange that the British classical music scene can't be bothered to support musicians. You see, I'm not the best, but I'm far more capable than your best. You see, whereas your professional pianists have to rely on memory, I don't have to rely on memory and I can get to a bigger audience. You know, why do you oppress me? What have I ever done to you? Please answer that question because time is running out. <laughs>